Hello everyone, this is Miles from Macaroni and last week we did one of the beautiful hike in British Columbia with turquoise blue lake surrounded by snow capped mountains, Garibadi Lake encompasses the incredible beauty of Canada. Things to know before you start the Garibaldi hike. You need to have a day use pass. This pass can be booked starting at 7 am 2 days in advance of your planned visit. For the Garibaldi Lake hike, you need to reserve Rebel Creek parking lot. It is a super busy and a popular hiking spot. So during summer months, make sure you book your passes on time. Well, for the parking, it's first come first serve and it's completely free. Yo! <laughs> 18.2 kilometers. Let's see how much we can do it. The Garibaldi hike starts from the Rebel Creek parking lot, which is 1 hour 45 minutes from the major city Vancouver. Well, the total length of the hike is 18 kilometers and the elevation is around 3000 feet. Depending on your parking spot and extent to which you explore the end of the lake, your hiking distance as well as the elevation might change. In our case, it came around 22 kilometers. As the hike gets super busy during summers, an early start is highly recommended. Are you guys tired? Not at all. Talking about the trail, the first 6 km is the boring section of the hike since you go up switchback after switchback in the forest with a constant uphill trail and constant scenery. Although the hike is an intermediate level hike, personally, we felt the hike was not difficult from a technical point of view. If you are an avid hiker, it's just the elevation and switchbacks that makes it challenging. So right now we are at the junction. After hiking 6 kilometers, this is the kind of junction you will see. And from here you can go to Taylor Meadows. Or if you follow the right path, it will go directly to Garibaldi. And one more thing to notice, uh, here is a barrier lookout point so don't miss it. So we spent a fair amount of time at Peria Lookout Point. Now we are heading towards Garibaldi. It's almost three kilometers, but uh, it's not that hard. So we are very excited. Cheers! Wait for Garibaldi. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she is also with us. <laughs> the first six kilometer was a boring section. Well, to its contrary, the last three kilometers. You get a lot of perks such as Barrier Lookout Point, Barrier Lake and the Lesser Garibaldi and the trail becomes much more beautiful. So after just walking 1 km we reach here. It's not Garibaldi, it's Lesser Garibaldi and it's beautiful. So really excited for how the original Garibaldi is gonna look. Stay tuned. It was quite surprising to see how the scenery changed so frequently in that small distance after Lesser Garibaldi. After walking 2 kilometers, we reached our final junction. As it was the pollen season, the pollens have accumulated at the end of the lake, making it really stinky and smelly. So we have to cross that bridge and then go over that rock because the path here is completely submerged under water. So due to high heat and unexpected snow meltdown, we were forced to scramble up some steep rocks to get to our picnic area. So for the bear safety at Garibaldi Provincial Park, there are both black as well as grizzly bears present in the area. So make sure to carry your bear spray with you all the time. That's to hang your food so that the bears don't take it. I can also hang in there to, to be safe from bears. So finally we reached at Garibaldi Lake. And we saw that there were several huts at the top 
especially made for the hikers to enjoy their lunch and take some rest. I don't know why we're doing this. It doesn't make sense at all. But this water is so dirty. As it was too crowded near the hut, so we thought of moving towards the end of the lake on the right side. And to our surprise, the water got much clearer and free of pollen. Now, just one dip, girl. One, two, three. Hello. How's that, guys? So guys, we are at this location. We just went in the water. The water is freaking cold, but it's so refreshing. It's so cold. We have a mermaid, and that's the view. Cold water, that's all. Cold water. Now we finally plan to descend. This time, since it would already be a long way down, we plan to take the shortcut that was walking in water through the edge of the lake. The water was freezing cold, but it was definitely a different feeling than scrambling through the rocks again. We still need to go six kilometers down. So pretty excited. The descent was much easier. We did not take too many stops, and it took just 2.5 hours to reach down. And yep, that's how we concluded our Garibaldi hike. Guys, done. Ah! Ow! Ow! Ah! Ow! Ah! Ow! Ah! There has been a notice issued by BC Park stating that Garibaldi Campground as well as Deus Park area will be closed due to flooding. So make sure to constantly check the BC Park website before you plan this hike. And last but not the least, leave no trace, guys. Bye. See you next time. I hope you liked this video and found it useful. Please like, share and subscribe and follow Miles to Macroni at Instagram for more such adventurous content.